Hi, my name is Jay Murphy, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can import cost data to uh, help you understand how things are working in all your campaigns in Google Analytics. Now in our AdWords campaigns we actually get the cost information when we link our accounts together, and we also get clicks and impressions. But if we're running a banner campaign, we and this is a test uh, site so uh, you know we've only got a couple couple sessions there but we won't actually get the impressions clicks or cost data necessarily uh, so what we have to do is actually import that data and luckily there is a way to do that so I'm going to step through how you can create and then import cost information into Google Analytics so the way you do it is you go to the admin tab and we actually happen to have it open here. Let me show you what it looks like. So you're in the web property. You scroll down to the data import area and you click on data import. And you see we've got a few different cost uh, data sets already created here. And so now we want to go to the uh, admin tab where we can actually create our cost data set. So I happen to have it open in another Chrome tab here. So here we are on the admin screen and under web property if we scroll down to the bottom here we see the data import area. So we click on data import and this allows us to create a new data set. Now we see a few are already created here but we're going to create a new one. So we click on New Data Set, and in here we'll actually create our cost data. Now you can see there's other information available to us. We could import refund information. We can import information about users or more campaign information or even product data. But I'm going to step through how we upload cost data. So we click on Cost Data there and click on our next step and this is where we create a name so uh, demo cost data and we just give it a quick name there and then we select the views we want to import that data into so here we can select one or more views we'll select our primary view and we could select a test view as well if we wanted to then we click outside of that drop down and we click on next step and this is where we actually create the schema the the set of data we're going to upload to um, to Google Analytics so in this first area we see medium and source are already set they have to be provided because that's the key that Google Analytics uses to make sure that it can report it also and it's not shown here but it also brings in a date field as well so you know which day the cost was uh, occurred on and then we want to select some additional information well we we definitely want to put the cost data in there but if we've got click and impression data that's really useful for us as well so let's include all three so we'll include clicks cost and impressions and then we can provide some additional information as well so uh, some of the things that I find most interesting for doing further analysis is under the advertising area the ad content so what banner was it was it a leaderboard was it a large rectangle we can provide that information in here assuming we've done that with our UTM parameters which is a whole separate video and then we can also provide the campaign information as well so let's select that. If we know other information like the destination URL, the display URL, if we're paying for a keyword, we can provide that information as well in these reports. But right now we're just going to stick with what we've just created. And then we also have the ability to either import where it sums up with any other information with the same medium, source, and date, or where it overwrites the information with the same medium source and date. We're going to use the overwrite here 
but if you are bringing in data that you know you want summed um, that you'll be doing the same source and medium over time then choose summation instead so here we click on save and this actually creates our data set and now the next thing we want to know is what is the schema what's what's the header information that Google will expect and also an API key uh, so in the future we're just going to demo how to upload a comma separated value file into Google Analytics but if you wanted to and I highly recommend you do it this way you can automate this whole process using an API and this API key just tells Google Analytics this is the import data set that we're sending right now so but we'll just use the CSV version so we click on get schema and this gives us our header information so we could just copy this if we wanted to and start creating our our own uh, CSV file or and this is kinda handy down here it will actually download a schema template for us so we can click on download schema template and there it is a CSV file already ready for us to import into Google Sheets so here we've imported our template into a Google Sheet we've got our data in here and let's walk through it real quickly the important thing to remember about the date is that the format has to be year with uh, 2016 in all four characters uh, then the month 11 for November the date uh, 11 for the 11th and the, the row next to it is the 19th and then our medium and source banner and test have to be identical to what we've used in our UTM parameters and then our clicks our cost and our impression data is the data we'd get from our our partner the the area where we're displaying these banners then our content and our campaign again have to be identical to what we've used in our UTM parameters and then what we'll do here is we'll actually download this and save it as a comma separated variable sheet and we save that that actually gets stored to our downloads directory and then we go back up to our admin tab and this is where we import this data so we say done here so we've created the schema we've downloaded our template and here is our demo cost data area so we click on manage uploads and in here we've got no data available right now we upload we choose the files this is our template this looks a little silly it's uh, reproduced the name this is our original template this is the template with the data now in it so we just say open we'd want to clean these up to have better names obviously and I would timestamp these CSV files so you know which uh, which data it is um, so now we upload it by selecting the file clicking upload and this little window here tells us the upload is going on and then right up in here it gives us the status so now this only had two rows so it was processed pretty quickly but we can actually you know just uh, shrink this window and go about our other analytics tasks while this upload is occurring it can take a while with longer files and you may not see the data immediately in your reports so this might be something you want to do just before you go to lunch or end of the day and then uh, and then the data will be available all right so we've waited for our cost data to be processed and here it is in Google Analytics so you recall before for test banners we did have our sessions but we didn't have any cost information and we didn't have our clicks or our impressions either and it calculates for us our click-through rate clicks divided by impressions and our cost per click cost divided by uh, clicks and if we had uh, purchase information in here we'd see uh, purchase per click or revenue per click and our uh, return on ad spend percentage would be in here as well so we'd be able to see uh, how we're making money on a per uh, per click basis and per spend basis 
So this information really helps you understand um, how your different campaigns are working, how well they're performing. So I heartily recommend if you've got cost data available, um, use this technique for importing it into your Google Analytics. It will help you with these built-in reports and of course it will now be available for any dashboard tools you use as well. So if you use the built-in Google Analytics dashboard or you use the Data Studio dashboarding tool, um, you'll have this data available in both of those areas as well. So thanks a lot for listening to the video and I hope